So, as we all may know by now, North Carolina has passed a different gun law. I wasn't familiar with the old one, to be honest with you. But uh, apparently they have modified the gun law. And how I found out is I was at a place. I don't want to say where. But I was at a place, right? And I heard people talking about getting guns. They was like, oh, you don't have to have a permit anymore? I'm about to go get me one. And they were talking, you know, all these little conspiracies and whatnot. So I was like, bet. Let me go find out what is going on. And that's what I'm here today to talk about, right? So what I did, first things first, right? Let me give out this disclaimer. Don't listen to nothing I got to say, right? Do your own research. Listen, I just know how to read. All right, that's it. That's it. Don't take it. Don't take it for what I said. Don't do your own research, right? Do your own research. But with that being said, so first things first. First things first. How you get a weapon now. You no longer have to go to the sheriff's department. And all this is in North Carolina, right? You no longer have to go to the sheriff's department. What you have to do is you have to go to a licensed dealer, a federal licensed dealer, right? And they're going to conduct a background, a background check through the NCIS, which is basically, well, which is an acronym for National Instant Criminal Background Check System ran by the FBI. Okay, so boom, that knocks out a lot of y'all, right? That was just talking about going to get one because you don't you don't have to have a permit. I ain't gonna lie, I we do not need people just running around here with guns. I ain't even gonna hold you. But uh, yeah, so that's that. Next is private sellers, right? So with the private sellers, there's no requirement of a background check, but you are responsible. You as a seller of that firearm are responsible for whatever happens with that weapon. If you sell it to a prohibited person, right? A person that's not supposed to have a gun, you sell it to them and they go commit a crime. For one, you're probably going to get a felony charge for selling a weapon to a prohibited person. Two, if they do go commit a crime, the charges could come back on you, right? It's called the, what is it? I looked it up. Civil liability, right? If a crime is used, no, I said as for crime is used. If a crime is committed with the weapon, they may hold you accountable. Be careful who you selling them weapons to. Don't don't listen to everybody and be like, yo, just get me a weapon, da 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 da, and sell it. Listen, listen. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Okay, yeah. So, you know, the the you know, and you can also lose your gun rights, right? Where you won't be able to buy a weapon in the future. Those are the three things. Loss of gun rights, civil liability, and you may face felony charges. So yeah. Also, you still have to be it says you still have to be twenty one to buy a handgun. People that's committed certain crimes can't buy the weapon and mentally incompetent people right so people like that have bipolar issues and schizophrenia but you have to go to a court and a court has to i guess label you that like mentally incompetent and it's a case-by-case thing though so you can't just say oh he bipolar or he's like no that's not a re like no it has to be a court issued thing, right? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, there was this thing saying, well, there's another section of it, not this thing. There's another section of it saying that non sworn 
law enforcement can carry concealed firearms in law enforcement buildings with permission from law enforcement head. I don't really know what that. I mean, I I, I kind of know what that means, but like, I I don't. Yeah. Somebody tell me what. Somebody go into detail for me. Who 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 can cipher that down a little bit? Break that down for me. But this was the big one for me, right? People are now allowed to carry concealed weapons at churches that share a property with the school building. But they can't take the weapon there if it's within school hours and if there are extracurricular activities going on for minors. So that's what I read, right? It said for minors, which caught my attention because I pay attention to detail a little bit. And it's, it said extracurricular activities for minors. So if adults are having extra, like if something's going on and adults are there, people can have weapons. Only if kids aren't there, they're not allowed to. I, 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 I don't know. It didn't, it didn't specify. But yeah. So yeah. People can take weapons on firearms on churches that share property with the school building outside of school hours and when no religious extracurricular, damn, extracurricular activities are going on for minors, right? That is the basics of that law that just came out. Like I said, don't take my word for it, right? I, I can just read a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You know. I would rather you check out this video right here and cipher it for yourself. You feel me? I just did a little bit of the groundwork for you so you would know not to be pulling up somewhere thinking you just about to buy a gun and come out here. And you know what I'm saying? Be scrapped up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah. But yeah, check that video out. Um, Yeah, y'all be safe. Be great today. Also, follow this podcast. We go live. Well, we don't go live. We post an episode every Thursday. And on Mondays, I have sporadic thoughts, right? That's my segment where I just go through what's going on in my head, what I think is coming in the future, issues that I've went through during the week, past issues. I may have guests on that part too. You know what I'm saying? So we can just chop it up and see what their, see where their minds are at. So you can get a diff different perspective other than mine. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, the Psych Expansion Podcast. Check me out on YouTube. Let's go.